Committee on the Glenville State College, needless to say, in Glenville, West Virginia, centrally located, about the smallest college in West Virginia. And uh, so we don't have a geography department under the land resources department. And under that department, we have things like survey, forestry, environmental science. Uh, all three of those fields use modern technology very heavily, uh, ArcMap, AutoCAD, uh, specialized programs. At any rate, uh, I'm about one of uh, seven faculty in the department. By uh, trade, I'm a land surveyor, uh, and maybe speaking later about land surveying, I don't know, we'll see. At any rate, um, we're a very hands-on department out there. We uh, we uh, like to think our students can do an actual job when they get out. We aren't, uh, we aren't really a trade school or anything, but um, as far as land surveying, when people get out of there, they should be able to uh, begin sitting for examinations. If they're a forester, they should be able to become a certified registered forester in West Virginia, things like that. At any rate, um, we uh, use a wide range of equipment there, and we have a wide range of classes. As far as geographic information systems, we have two classes devoted strictly to ArcMap. It's called GIS-1, GIS-2. And that is all you do in there, basically, is ArcMap. And uh, we have a CAD class, all we do is AutoCAD in there. And usually those are in the first or second semester. After uh, people have had those classes, then of course they should be able to apply some of those things in their further classes. Versus in forestry, uh, they should be able to take a uh, little GPS unit out, come back, download their continuous forest inventory blocks or whatever. Environmental people should be able to do any kind of point source or pollution, or however they do that. And uh, surveying, I would hope they could take some old patents and grants and somewhat geo-reference them on the map. Um, we do have a lot of standard software that we have off map 10. Um, we also, uh, if you will, borrow a lot of equipment. Uh, we like to think that our students are well-rounded, that they don't just work with one kind of equipment, one kind of software. Uh, a lot of the vendors that are here today are very good to us. Uh, just uh, two weeks ago, uh, PLI out here loaned us two of their uh, 6,000 units. We loaded our local topographic maps and air photos and now we use photos. And uh, students have to use just what they're set up right now. And, of course, PLI thinks it's great to do that because if the students use them once, they're going to want to go out and buy them or have their employment on them. But uh, at any rate, um, yeah, uh, we do a, a work with a lot of equipment. We really do try and get our students to have an understanding of the technology rather than just push buttons. And using different versions and so forth, I think, helps them understand that. Uh, as an example, I think most people would expect there to be a spell checker in any word processing or quite a few other programs. You may not know what uh, menu it's under, what drop down, what button, but there's one there you just have to look for it, even if you got to get the help key. And uh, that's where they need to think about some of these things and do a little critical thinking, apply the tools and technology they need to their field and whatever project they're working on. Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't teach either of the classes that are the ArcGIS. Um, I did teach them about five or six years ago. There was another fellow that was like me. But at any rate, uh, we do uh, a lot of GPS, GIS work. Okay? And uh, that should do it. Thank you.